Hello friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobelman. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I want to talk about a specific issue that you will come across uh, when you do in your desktop support job or you know PC support job. Um, the issue is specifically related to user profiles. Here's the thing, in this scenario um, we are talking about specific user, for example regular user that has been promoted to a supervisor. But the issue is with the fact that regular users have restrictions placed on their profiles so they can't create documents, they can't create shortcuts, they can't access certain things. While now that they're in a supervisor type of positions, they need to have these type of abilities. The problem that a lot of times happens is you move this person's domain profile to a supervisor group, but yet their, pro, their old profile is still you know, restricting them from doing these things that they need to do. So let me go through and explaining uh, each thing and what it is. So the main profile, for somebody who's brand new, the main profile is a basically a login ID for your PC that follows you around, right? So you will, in a business environment, get a domain profile. You can use that login information to log in into any computer that's available throughout the whole organization, okay? And then we have a local profile, which is a profile that's created based of login ID settings. So your domain profile will have certain settings that will allow you to do certain things or you know, prevent you from doing certain things. And this is where it's located. If you go to the root of C, once you, once you log in with your domain profile to any computer that's connected to the network, it will create this local profile based on your login settings, right? And you go in here, so it's a root of C, users, and then look, in my case, SOBA is, uh, um, which means room, by the way, in my language, um, is basically the, the name of the, uh, is the uh, login ID for my computer, right? It's a login ID for my computer, and it created this local profile after I logged in. So it created this local profile based off login ID settings for my domain right so this is where it's at the problem is um, this profile here retains retains all the information all the uh, login ID settings uh, once it's created even after even after you uh, even after you move the user to the new group that allows them to do more things so here's here's what I'm talking about regular users has many restrictions, cannot create documents, right? So once a regular user, you know, logs into a computer anywhere that's connected to this network, they will have restrictions on this profile, right? And it will retain it. It will retain this most of the time, okay? It will retain it and it will hold on to it until you get rid of this local profile, okay? So, but supervisor for example has less or no restrictions that can for example create any documents right this is of course going to vary you know from you know organization to organization but the issue is the the user that got promoted their old settings regular use their old regular user settings are still held in here and they're it's still holding on to it you know it's still holding on to it and it's still not allowing the new settings for the supervisor to take effect so we need to get rid of this okay now it wouldn't be an issue if the new user which is the supervisor new supervisor if they move to another computer which where, where they do not have a local profile you know created there would be no issues they can log in everything would be fine but if you want if they want to you know you know keep using the same pc it will hold on most likely to that to these restrictions from the regular user okay so we need to you know get rid of this uh, folder we need to recreate it we need to rebuild it you know local profile that is attached and that is hold on holding on to these um, settings these old restrictive settings okay in windows xp era um, it was for the most part it was pretty pretty safe to just go ahead and right click here and just delete it you know, but that's an issue with the newer operating systems. So Windows 7, uh, Windows 8, Windows 10, that's an issue because 
and windows xp you could just delete it log back in and would create a new profile in here and you'd be okay for the most part you know but here if i was to delete it there will still be some registry settings that you know computer may hold on to and you may basically not even log in um it will may not even create a local profile based off your domain profile at all it could just create like a temporary it would say temp profile it would be like it would say here but it would say temp and that one could be even that, that's that's a big issue so how do we go about removing this safely so we can rebuild it so the user can keep using this computer well it's pretty simple guys so we need to go to your uh, system settings which is the, um, it's, it's very similar with most of the operating systems but in Windows 7 you go to your computer you, you may have a like, computer icon here go to properties and then we will go to advanced system settings here and within advanced system settings we have user profiles which is right here and you see how it says desktop settings related to your logon right so if we click on settings here and mind you this may take a while for you know computers that are used a lot because if they have a lot of profiles in here it would take a lot a long time to load sometimes but here you can see all the local profiles that are created and in my case this is the one this is the one here okay so in order for us to safely remove it or properly remove it is by selecting it and hitting delete okay in my case it's grayed out because it's it's the only local profile i have aside from a, a default profile and in a public profile which is the same thing so um so in order for us to safely do this we select it hit delete then you would delete it it may take a while and once the user comes back in he will create a brand new one which will you know have the new settings which will have these new settings which are you know supervisor settings less or no restrictions they can create any documents this and that now it's a good thing a good practice to do um, just to be safe is to create a backup of this profile in case they have files that they need to keep like my documents you know if they have anything my documents if they have anything on desktop if they have any favorites you know if this is if there are some certain things that they want to keep um, what I generally do is just literally copy copy this profile this old profile copy it and just put it anywhere else for example root of C just as like a temporary place you know and then later on uh, when they create a new profile you can go back in and paste paste their desktop items back in their favorites back in you know their my documents back in so that way you're good you know good Samaritan if you will you know good you know somebody that you know I don't know it might be a practice of your business to do that it may not be you know depending on depends on the settings you might you might have desktop redirects or you know everything else set up at your business so you may not even have to do that but just in case you know I'll do whatever you do do not copy this old profile and then once the new one comes back in do not like copy over the whole thing because it will copy everything that's inside of this for example it has a you know hidden folder called app data right you know these are all the settings from the old profile you do not want to copy that in there at all you know not just for your you know pro but like all the all the programs and everything else like that you know you do not want to do that okay all right guys thank you so much for watching i really hope this uh, real world type of you know experience helps you um if you have time please go to facebook.com forward slash kobuman and like my page also i have a new website if you're interested in technology and science news it's located at cosmicnovo.com and also if you're somebody who would like to contribute um, you know in, in writing articles if you're brand new um, and would like to see how it would at least look like to have a article posted on a website um, feel free to uh, uh, select the button uh, become a contributor and then you can do so all right guys thank you so much have a good one bye bye